I have behind me our very first 2023 Subaru Ascent that has finally arrived at the dealership. This one is in the Touring trim, which means it gets all of the goodies, including a now 360 view bird's eye view camera. So we're gonna show you that and much more in today's video. If you guys have questions, as always, leave those down in the comment section below. And if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to make videos like this each and every week all about Subarus. So if you like that type of content, then definitely consider clicking that subscribe button down below. I'm not excited for the cold weather in the next coming months, but I do like the holidays and I really like when we get to put up cool lights like this. For the 2023 Subaru Ascent, we get this new front end design. I think it looks a lot better. Looks sportier and more aggressive looking. So here's what the front end looks like. See, it's got a different style grille and the headlights have much sh sharper edges, kind of like we see in some of our other Subaru models, including the 2022 and 23 Foresters. If you were curious what a 2022 Ascent looks like, or even just any of the previous Ascents, this is what it looks like. You can tell it's a lot more plain up front, not as aggressive looking, much more softer edges, and a lot different front end design. Something you see only on the Subaru Ascent Touring and also the Outback Touring are these power foldable mirrors. Whenever you lock them, they fold into place. There's also a button on the inside of the door handle where you can open and close those if you're trying to park in a tight space or on street side parking. The camera down below here underneath the mirror is new for 2023. This is one of the cameras that activates that 360 view that you see whenever you're trying to park. And I'll show you guys that here in just a second. New for the 2023 Ascent is this giant 11.6 inch touchscreen display. This is the same display that we have seen in the Outback and the Legacy since 2020. They just moved it over to the WRX this past year. And then now in 2023, we get it for the Ascent. So this is what you'll see when you get an Ascent. The layout down below has been updated just like on the 2023 Outback and Legacies with larger soft touch keys for your fan speed controls, a larger on off switch that is now located in the lower left hand corner for easy access and your heated and ventilated seats are down here with one touch control. So there's no longer a second menu. You just click on it and it will activate your ventilated seats. You've got high, medium, low and off and same with your heated seats, high, medium, low and off. It's very quick and easy. You can also adjust your climate control very easily just by clicking there. You can use these keys to adjust up and down. You can use the keys on the side if you prefer the analog physical controls, or you can do what I've found is the easiest more recently just by tapping on the temperature that you want. And this does have dual climate. So while it's synced up right now and working simultaneously for the driver and the passenger side, you can independently control your passenger uh, temperature or you can sync it back up and it will be synced up to the driver's side. The rear climate control is also very easy. It's down here in the bottom right. You just click on that. You can adjust your fan speed and your temperature just like this. I don't know if this works. I haven't tried it. I guess you can't use the you can't use the physical keys for the rear climate control. This is only for the driver and the passenger it appears. I just realized I don't even have the headlights on, which would allow me to see these keys much easier. So we just turned that on to make it a little bit easier to see here while I'm filming this video. This button down here is one that a lot of people have wanted for many years. We click on this view button and here we go. We now have a 360 view camera for our new 2023 Subaru Ascent, which allows us to see whenever we're pulling in or out of a parking space. So this is just a lot easier. Now it's gonna keep hovering around this 360 view until I click this right here. So whenever you tap this, that allows you to toggle between the different angles to see uh, how, you're, how close you are to the curb or maybe another vehicle, or if you just wanna see how centered you are in a parking space. This is incredibly neat a really nice feature. They also introduced this on the 2023 Subaru Solterra. We haven't received any of those yet. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we will get those by the end of the year. But the Solterra is going to have this uh, similar 360 view camera on it as well. 
Here's what it looks like when we put it in reverse. You can use the regular backup camera or if you click this little button right there, that takes you to your 360 view camera. So you can see where your car is going, shows you the grid lines as you're turning the steering wheel and then we'll put it back in drive. Let's see how this looks. I wonder if we can see a different, oh, and you can see multiple different angles. I don't know, that seems like a lot right there, but shows you the left side, the right side near the curb and the front of the vehicle. So we can see how close we are getting to the curbs or other vehicles around us. The previous generation ascents in the touring trim level have had this smart rear view mirror where you flip it up and it allows you to see out of your back window whenever occupants are in your back seat or you have luggage or cargo covering that back window that you otherwise wouldn't be able to see. So this is how you activate it. You just simply lift that lever up and that camera turns on. That is something that is only on the Ascent Touring trim level and now for the first time in 2023 is also on the Outback Touring trim. Another new one for the 2023 Subaru Ascent is a feature called Cabin Connect. You just swipe over to get to it. And by the way, if you ever wanna move any of these apps to the main screen, you just click and hold and you drag it over and you can drop it on the main page and then click the home button. So this feature allows you to be able to hear the occupants in the back seat or the third row seat much better, as well as them being able to hear you much better. Here's what it sounds like when we turn the cabin connect on. I don't know how well this will pick up on my microphone, but the cabin connect, as you can see, is lit up green. It is turned on right now. And you can tell a slight difference when you're talking. It's, it's, it's a little weird at first, to be honest. This is my first time experiencing this, but you do have a little bit of a, uh, just like a louder voice or something that is, is projected much better uh, to the back of the vehicle as well as uh, to the front when you have people in the back seat. So that's what it sounds like when your cabin connect is on and now we've got it turned off. So hopefully you can tell a difference here on camera, but I certainly can tell in person there is a much bigger difference with and without that cabin connect. New for the 2023 Ascent as well as our Outback and Legacy so far, we have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can add your Bluetooth device here whether you have an Apple device or an Android device, you no longer have to plug in, although you do have your inputs here for charging with uh, USB-C and USB-A. An accessory that you can get that is not standard is the wireless charging. So if you get the wireless charging pad, it goes right here. Otherwise, you just have this storage compartment that does not wirelessly charge. So now that we have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, it makes more sense than ever to have the wireless charging pad. For those who are unfamiliar with the benefits of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, here are the main takeaways. With Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can mirror your device up on the display. So although this car has navigation because it's the Touring and the Touring trim level gets all of those fancy features, you have the ability to use your navigation from your phone. So maybe you like to use Apple Maps or Google Maps or Waze any third party navigation app, as far as I know, can be connected to this. And you can just simply select the apps down below here. We'll go over and, and swipe over to select. So if I wanna use Waze, I can click on that and use Waze. That is how simple and easy it is to do. And this is all wireless, so you don't have to be connected anymore. You can also listen to music through Spotify, make hands-free phone calls, and whenever you receive text messages, you'll be able to have those read to you through the speakers of the car, and you can reply through voice without having to pick up your phone. Let me know what you guys think of the new 2023 Subaru Ascent. Do you like the new features that have been added? Do you hate them? Do you wish they would add different things? Let me know if you have any questions. If you guys have suggestions on future video topics you would like to see here on the channel, leave those down in the comment section below as well. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video.